Face of adversity, from the political right to the left, representatives of 33 Latin American and Caribbean nations expressed outrage in the face of President Donald Trump's vow to build a so-called wall of infamy to separate the U.S. from its southern neighbors. Just, just, just a fucking comment on this. Why the fuck are all these foreign Latin countries, you know, worried about the United States protecting its own border? Because they're fucking globalists. They don't give a shit about, you know, what happens in their own countries. All they fucking care about is the United States to let all the poor people in from the rest of the fucking world. That's why. That's why all these fuckers are getting together like this. Now is the time we need to defend ourselves in the face of these new threats. What new threats? What new threats is are you fucking talking about, dude? There's no new threats. What, it's a threat for the United States to protect its own border, to protect its sovereignty, to make sh to vet people that come in, to make sure that they're contributing and that, that they have something to offer you, the, the United States? Get the fuck out of here, dumbass. Conspicuously absent here was Mexico's president, Enrique Peña Nieto, who abruptly canceled his trip after getting wind that Trump was about to announce new border security measures. Why? Why, why should he get, why should he, uh, you know, skip it because of that? What, because he doesn't want to take care of his own poor people? He would prefer that they all just leave Mexico and come to the, to, to the United States instead of, what, Mexico taking care of their people? I call on the President of the United States to carry out an immigration policy that respects human rights. Who fucking cares about them? The audacity of these fucking people, man. I fucking swear to God. Human rights, really? Okay, I don't care about, you know, the other fucking countries' bullshit, other countries' fucking problems. It's not the United States' problem to worry about foreigners. It's just not. Mexico, uh, Bolivia, Venezuela, they should all take care of their own fucking people. Stop bitching and whine, whining at a fucking foreign country. Dumb fuck, man. That an American and Caribbean leaders are clearly worried about Washington's vow to limit or even cut regional free trade, described by summit host Danilo Medina as the phantom of protectionism and trade wars. It's a new reality, one that will have consequences in the entire region, but no one more so than in those countries that are closest to the United States, that depend on remittances and trade with their northern neighbor. A country that until just one week ago was considered a friend and a partner. Guatemala's foreign minister warns it may cost the United States dearly. Is he fucking threatening us? Is he fucking threatening us? It's gonna cost us dearly? Bitch, you need us more than we need you. Actually, we don't need you at all. We don't. <laughs> They're just trying to pull this bullshit out like... You should be a friend and just give us more foreign aid. Blah, 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 blah. Shut the fuck up. In este mundo globalizado, en eso no hay retroceso. There is no going back on globalization. Can anyone fucking remember when that used to be a conspiracy theory? Globalization. Globalism. Fucking globalists. You know, get, getting rid of all your borders so that we can just eventually have one world government in the fucking world. Yeah, that used to be a conspiracy theory. And this dude just already just fucking spilled the beans on that. Then a void is left in the marketplace. Someone else fills it. In this case, in our region, it could be China, which is already becoming a key player. There's a new sense of urgency to build a strong regional alliance to offset the White House's new trade and border policies, which are seen by many here, not just as protectionism, but as acts of hostility. Acts of hostility. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's an act of hostility for a country to protect its own fucking borders, man. Fucking clown world. I swear to God, it's fucking clown world. I don't even... Yeah, it's, they, the guy just spilled the beans on globalization, globalism. They, just, they want us to open our borders to all the poor people of Latin America and South America. The whole fucking world. That's what these fucking fuck faces here want the United States to do so that they don't have to take care of their own problems. They just send their problems to another foreign country. Get the fuck out of here, you fucking cocksuckers.